classy. Bougie, ratchet, classy. <laughs> Why ask me? Up and down. Up. Hello everyone, Callie Stormdoll here, and today we're under the sea with the original iconic Disney princess, Ariel. Now something I want to show you guys before we get into the doll is that um, along with the doll inside, Disney did um, give this Disney Plus um, sign up package and it's for the month of Halloween and Disney is calling it Hollow Stream. As you can see, they are promoting that um, during this time there will be these different movies coming out. Hopefully this is coming in clear for you guys to see. This is all coming on um, Hollow Streams by Disney Plus. I always feel like I don't utilize my Disney Plus count enough. I don't know. But here, as you can see, today we are featuring da -da, the Disney Princess Ariel doll. And this is the new ballet dolls. This um, did come from the Disney store. And as you can see on the back of the packaging, this is her price point. And you can see the bottom of the packaging is just blank. But the gimmick with these dolls, because, you know, nothing is extremely different about this Ariel if you have another Princess Ariel doll. But the gimmick about this one is that it includes a second outfit and it also includes the pivoting feet for Ariel. Now, me personally, the reason I wanted to collect this Ariel doll is because I'm interested in seeing her lower articulation. Most time the um, Disney store gift shop will give us dolls with those bendy legs. I'm interested in to see how they're gonna look with this new body sculpt. So enough talking. I'm gonna get her out of her packaging and we're gonna go over this doll. Okay, so we're back and we have um, Ariel and all her accessories out. So it's really cool. Ariel comes with this really cool fork comb. I think that's really cute. She comes with flounder and flounder is featuring this beautiful seaweed. We also get this hair barrette and it kind of reminds me of a jellyfish. That's something you could put in her hair. She also comes with this blue ribbon um, that actually goes with this secondary look that we are going to try on her. But over here we have Ariel, and she looks so pretty. Just look her over, like, ugh. I hate to say it guys, but I have to say it. This is gonna be considered nostalgia soon, you know? Because with, I mean, with next year coming in very soon, um, once the movie's released, we're gonna have a new type of Ariel on the market. So we better enjoy these. So as you can see, Ariel does sport the um, the purple flower in her hair, and her hair is kind of like in a bun. Then it's side swept, and then she has her waterfall curls falling down her back. It is heavily gelled. Um, she doesn't have pierced ears, no necklaces, no earrings. Um, minimal makeup, not a lot of makeup. Um, her outfit is this beautiful dress. The shoulders are beautiful. The um, skirts beautiful everything is beautiful now some of these materials are cheaply made yeah don't think I'm just you know being goody goody for Ariel no I still have to read and um this this fin is giving me desperoso this fin is giving me desperoso this fin is not giving me elegance it's not giving me queen I'm it's giving me peasantries you know I'm thinking very much so not queen but peasants, that's what I'm thinking with this tail. So I'm not really feeling it. But these fabrics in the middle kind of make up for that. And as far as what I was mentioning earlier about um, interest in the new body, so they do come with the articulated feet and articulated knees. And yes, it's not plastic or bendy or gummy or chewy. Ariel has a new body sculpt. So I'm gonna try to angle this here. And I'm gonna kind of show you guys. So the points of articulation is at her head, of course, they can tilt, she can look, you know, up and down, you know, she can sing up like that. So she has movements at the shoulders, elbow, wrist. She does have hip articulation. She also has a bend at the knee 
And now with these dolls, they also have the foot articulation. So their feet kind of go up and down, as you can see like that. So I'm actually gonna change her into her secondary look, but I'm just gonna do this on camera, okay? So this will also give all of us an opportunity to see these new body sculpts because it's, oh, I mean, we all know this if you're a fan of the Disney store. All they give us are gummy upon gummed out legs. You know that's all they deliver us. Anyone who wanted to see what her gown looked like without her in it, maybe give you ideas if you want to maybe alter this. Because what I may do, and I'm actually not kidding, is cut this off, right? And just have her serve in this look. This is a little bit more elegant, a little bit more regal for me. You know, I kind of like that a little bit better. So we're just going to put her in her secondary look. So this is what the new body sculpts are giving so i'm glad we undressed her because look she has articulation i didn't know oh no it's not actually none so she has a cut here but it doesn't give any articulation it's stiff hmm. but this is what the new body sculpts give now these you can take off but i'm just gonna leave on because it's just a regular foot but you can take that off that's very interesting to me that um she has that slice in the middle, but mm -mm. I guess that just adds on to the nostalgia I was mentioning earlier. But yes, I love this blue outfit already. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So iconic. Are you guys excited to see the live action version of Under the Sea? The story of Ariel. I can't wait. I, originally, it got a lot of backlash, but I think more people are just excited that Ariel is finally getting her live action movie even though it's not you know the traditional Ariel this is so cute and look she also comes with this ribbon I wonder if this um we can oh maybe we could put it at the top of her hair like that okay that's kind of cute that's kind of cute that's kind of giving me something let me see okay what you think it's a lot going on yes okay but this is not bad what do you guys think about this look comment in the comment section below no i didn't put this in because i felt like maybe i was giving too much but maybe if i put her back in her regal outfit this is something i can add on to that that's kind of cute yes i feel like she's going to the met gala her and flounder yes hello hi <laughs> You know me, hey BET. Yes, Ariel is back, y'all, and she black. Yes. <laughs> They're gonna say Ariel, Ariel. She's gonna say yes. They're gonna say Ariel. Can I ask you a question? What's T sis? They gonna say Ariel. Now you know. They're remaking your life story, and um, they've cast, you know, a, a hip-hop artist. Her name is Halle Bailey. How do you feel about that? Well, you know what? I feel her. Because I feel like every story needs to be told. And she has a story, and I just cannot wait to hear it. So, Ariel, are you spilling tea? Is it going to be a little alterations from your story? Um, it's going to be a little bit altered. And, you know, it would have to be um, Jenny McCarthy's playing Ursula. I Come on now. I, I, now you know they should have had a queen playing a queen now. Come on now. <laughs> you right. Well, I'm so excited to see it. And I can't wait. You look good. You look You look like a fable girl. Yes. Thank you. You know, what can I say? Alexander C. Queen. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So that's what I imagine she will be giving going to the Met Gala. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, my overall thoughts what do i think about this doll if you're a fan of ariel it's a it's a must-have it's a must-have especially as the year is dwindling out this may be one of our last opportunities to get one looking like this before you know the movie the movie magic ones roll out and it's not me being shady it's just me being honest about anyone who collects ariel dolls like get this one her new body sculpt is very interesting it's not the gummy plastic legs we're used to so that's really exciting um beautiful hair a lot of gel but still beautiful do i think it was worth worth the price point mm. you know some of the fabrics are cheap like i mentioned i, I do kind of like the mesh fabric they did here 
I mean, they kind of upgraded her look a little bit from the movie, so I'm not really mad at that, but um, it's cool because, like I said, it's going to be considered nostalgia very soon. One thing I may also do um, is paint her nails, and guess what color? Red. Yes! I can't wait. I'm going to paint her nails red, and I think I'm going to alter this. I'm going to give that a, a good old-fashioned snip. But um, thank you guys for watching today. If you're new to my channel, simply subscribe. Always leave me a comment below. And remember, I will see you in my next video. Bye! Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to collect this Barbie Ariel doll? Also, are you excited for the live action version? The live action version of Ariel's telling under the sea the story of Ariel. Well, we'll see what's going to happen next year. I'm telling you guys, collect your Ariels now. Because <laughs> this soon, the doll is going to be looking really different. Not that different is bad, but this one is beautiful. <laughs> and trust me, when the new ones come out, I'm going to buy them too. Who am I kidding? I'm saying all this. I'm going to buy the new ones too. And I may do like a compare and contrast type of video. Even though they're representing two different tellings of the story, still she's so pretty i can't get over how pretty she is but like i said i'll see you guys on the next one Bye. my dear sweet child that's what i do it's what i live for to help unfortunate merfolk like yourself poor souls with no one else to turn to I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me the witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repentance in the light and made a switch. And I fortunately know a little magic. Talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Oh!